What up scrollers and welcome back to the Apple Sport and in this video we're gonna be seeing how you guys can rid of this situation in which your iPhone, iPad or iPod touch got into iPad is disabled and connect to iTunes. So without wasting any time let's begin with the video itself. Step, you have to just go to the links down in the description and is the ipsw.me so once you are over here you have to select your product so as you can see I'm using an iPad so I'll go with the iPad thing if you are using iPhone or iPod touch you can go to the iPhone section so my iPad model is iPad 6 Wi-Fi so I'll choose that thing up and click on the latest signed IPSW file click on that and it will give me that to download the IPSW file so click download and it will start downloading over here so as you can see that I have already downloaded my IPSW file so the next step you have to come to your iPad and click on the power button whether it's in any condition just click the power button and you have to just slide to power off your iPad now the next step you will be needing a cable so let's just plug it into your Mac or Windows laptop or PC then the next step is you have to click the home button on your iPad and just plug it in the power cable and just wait for a while until it gets started don't release your thumb So once you are at the screen, you can release your iPad. So don't unplug your iPad from the... So let's come to the Mac and on your Mac, you will be able to see there is a problem with your iPad that is required to be update or restore. So just cancel this thing up. So you are having a two options present over here. Same with the Windows thing. So now let's put a file. For that, on your Mac, you will have to press option key and click on update. And if you are using on windows so you have to just click shift button and click that thing up once you are done with the importing of the file so just click on update and make sure that data will not come data will be erased and it will be factory new ipad so this process may take some time because it's updating your iPad and it will take probably from 15 to 30 minutes so just be patient don't touch your laptop and your iPad as you can see on the iPad there is an Apple logo with a loading bar so just wait until the loading bar gets loaded once you are done with the Apple logo loading then you will become to the hola hello screen so you have to just uh, manually uh, do the process and once you are done with that so so that's how you can solve your iPad disable connect to the iTunes problem or your iPhone disable connect to the iTunes problem. So that was for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. So please like and subscribe. Peace out.